superpowers, the Super Mario Brothers rescued Princess Toadstool and beat back the evil Koopa family. The Adventure of Super Mario Bros. 3 is probably the most faithful cartoon to be accurate to the actual game and lore, with lots of things being referenced from characters to worlds, something that the movie has a lot in common with. However, out of all the Mario cartoons, this was the one that I recalled watching the least, which is a little weird for me considering how much of a diehard fan I am for the Super Mario franchise. The only thing I remember seeing from the series was the opening in this episode titled Mind Your Mummy, Mommy, Mario, which was a pretty cool episode. Everything else with the series either felt like a blur or just went completely over my radar as a kid. Perhaps this series wasn't being pushed like the others or my mother never saw this at the store. I have no idea. Anyhow, as years went by, I managed to catch some episodes on TV. I believe I was watching the Stars Channel which broadcast movies 24-7, and on Saturday mornings, they would halt on the movies for a bit and air a few of the 90s cartoons like Inspector Gadget, Sonic Sad AM, and of course, The Adventure of Super Mario Bros. 3. This was my only chance to catch a glimpse of what the show was like at the time, since again, it was the only show in the trilogy I didn't have around or recalled all that fondly. But once I consumed a few episodes, I was left disappointed and annoyed, since they kept airing the same mid-episodes back to back, instead of the stronger ones. Huh? Hey, now it's even harder! Because of this, I came to the conclusion that the series was the worst cartoon in the trilogy for quite some time. Each episode that they chose to air left me bored and wanting more. But then came the internet, in which I was able to access all the episodes from the series that I have never seen before, changing my opinion of the show over time as I was able to find more good episodes of the series than bad. Episodes such as Reptiles in the Rose Garden, Never Koopa Koopa, or Super Koopa were really fun to watch. But there were also some episodes in which they would decide to tackle real life issues like pollution and racism, such as Recycled Koopa or True Colors. These episodes made me respect the show for what it was, from being the worst cartoon in the trilogy to more so being the most underrated in the trilogy. Do you think everyone's colors will ever fade back to normal? Sure, they've already started, but it doesn't matter anymore. Everyone's learned that it's not a person's color that counts, it's the kind of person they are inside. Think they'll ever learn that lesson in the real world? <laughs> yeah, when humans get as smart as mushrooms. If you're looking for a Mario cartoon that's a lot more faithful to the games, I think The Adventure of Super Mario Bros. 3 would interest you. It's filled with a lot of variety in its episodes, with some episodes being really entertaining and fun, all the while having some casual episodes sprinkled in between. A great set of balance for a cartoon show.